May the 29th, 1919. Einstein's theory is confirmed. There was a total eclipse of the sun, which uh, uh, the path of totality went from northern Brazil uh, across the Atlantic to the Gulf of Guinea, the west coast of Africa. During that eclipse, measurements were made that were, for the first time, validated Einstein's new general theory of relativity. The measurements were actually quite, in principle, quite simple, but in practice really difficult to do. And the idea is that, according to Einstein's theory, uh, light travelling from a star, a distant star, to a telescope on the Earth actually passes close to the Sun on its, on its way and the sun's gravitational field deflects the light slightly so that it, from an observer on the Earth, the star looks as if its position has shifted slightly. And by comparing the two photographs, one with the sun there, but masked out by the moon during the eclipse, and another with the, uh, with the sun somewhere else in the sky, um, you can actually measure this effect. In principle, it's simple. Take two photographs, compare them, see if there's a difference. Uh, in practice, it's really difficult because the deflection is tiny. It's about uh, the width of a human hair at 30 meters. Now, what Einstein's uh, principles of relativity led to was an idea where space and time are not absolute. They depend on uh, the motion of an observer, in the case of the special theory, the state of motion, how fast you're going relative to another. In the general theory of relativity, which came later, the um, space and time, the, this whole idea of space and time being not absolute is extended even further uh, to the idea that space-time, which has to be thought of as a single uh, entity, is actually a dynamical thing. It actually warps and twists. So when the results were announced in, in 1919, um, the, the reaction of the scientific community was one thing. I mean, people were really impressed about Einstein's new theory. Um, but there was a, an amazing press reaction around the world as well. It's all really unprecedented for a scientist. In fact, Einstein became overnight um, a, a celebrity, a worldwide celebrity. In later life, he regretted being so famous, actually. He, um, he couldn't go out of the house and, uh, because you know, he was so easily recognisable. One of the reasons why we're particularly celebrating this, uh, this centenary in Ireland is that most of the equipment that was used on the, for the eclipse measurements was actually made in Ireland, uh, in, in Dublin in fact, by uh, Howard Grubbs Telescope Company, which was the world leader in astronomical equipment in the early part of the 20th century.